Hey guys, welcome to the Little Review. Today I'm going to try one of these new Bertoli. This is pasta sides, herb gnocchi. Um, it's potato gnocchi in a herb butter sauce. Looks really good. Um, we bought this at Kroger. It was $5.99, but it is a side and you're probably getting at least two servings out of this. Cooks in four minutes. It is microwavable. It's frozen. It's 13 grams or 369 or 369 grams or 13 ounces uh, for the meal. I don't know if you can see that, but it's right there. So anyway. So it's a microwave in bag, one of, the, one of those kind of meals. So um, one serving, uh, the, oh, for the whole package, it's 680 calories. So that's good. I'm glad they just went ahead and put the whole package on there. There's the other info, whatever you want to see out of them. So pretty straightforward, I believe. Uh, cook only one bag at a time. Let me see if you can get that. I don't know if it's focused. Hopefully that's focused. Uh, place frozen, unopened bag, this side up, laying flat in the microwave. Do not pierce bag. Uh, for a microwave with a metal rack, move the rack. Uh, microwave on high for two minutes. Generally shake the bag to coat the pasta with the sauce and then microwave for an additional two minutes and uh, the bag will slowly inflate. A special event will allow the steam to escape and a whistling sound may be heard. Um, check that the food is cooked thoroughly. Let's stand one minute, blah, 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 blah. Um, and it says to pick up the bags here, pick up here, uh, this side up. It says this side up. Oh, they're saying lay this side up when you're microwaving, but then you're going to tear across there to open it. So anyway, I'm going to get this in the microwave. I'll probably put it on a paper plate just in case anything leaks out of it so it'll catch it, but uh, I'll be back when it comes out. All okay, right, here it is on the microwave. Not much to look at, honestly. Um, I did notice that it, it popped open like down here and here, so I don't want to uh, turn it up like they're saying because it's just going to dump stuff over there, over, all over there. So I'm going to turn it up like this. I think I'm safe. And I'm going to dump it out on a plate just so you can see what it looks like. Um, okay. Missed a part, but that's okay. All right. So let me move my plate. I put it on a paper plate, like I said, just in case it would leak or anything. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, you get quite a bit. I can tell you it smells like herbs. It, it really does. It smells like uh, um, garlic and it looks, smells like oregano and stuff like that. So yeah, there it is. I haven't got a fork out. The, um, the shape of this is always kind of odd. But anyway, I'm going to let this cool off for a minute. I'll be back uh, to try it out. Hey, I gave it a little time to cool off. Not, not a super long period of time. So here we go. Good texture. Um, they're not, they're firm and chewy, but they're not like hard and like really, really chewy. Like a, it's not like a rubber tie or anything, but they, they do have a little chew to them. The sauce has a lot of, uh, of garlic. Um, there's some other seasonings there too. I don't know what they all are, but I can definitely taste a little bit of garlic in there. And it does have a buttery kind of texture. These remind me of, um, like if you were to make like, like, let's say chicken and dumplings, which is made with a bread, I know. But um, this reminds me of those, when the when you get a dumpling that's really like dense, that's what these remind me of. They kind of have that chewy, soft kind of chewy texture, but um, they're not quite as doughy as bread is. Mm. It's definitely really good. I don't know what, you know, it said these are sides. I don't know what you would eat this as side too. I guess you could have a, um, I don't imagine having this with, I don't know, like a pasta dish or because pasta and pasta, or this is potatoes, but potato and pasta maybe? I, I don't know. For you Italians out there, you have to let me know. What would you normally eat this for a side with? I really do like the flavors. Um, they're not gonna like knock your socks off flavors, but they are really good flavors and they're strong enough to where um, you definitely taste them. The sauce is really good and thick, so it covers everything really well. Um, I'm gonna give this one a four out of five. I really do like the textures. I like the, the flavors. I wish the flavors were a little bit higher, like a little bit more intense, but, um, but they're good for what they are. And the textures over there are spot on. The ingredients are too small. I just can't read the 
I just can't read them and I don't have my phone in here to zoom in on them, but um, yeah, I see garlic, um, just the spice, that's, that's real helpful. Um, salt, pepper, chicken fat, mm. uh, corn starch, anyway, um, it's good. Don't worry about the flavors being overpowered. They're not, they're actually really, really good. Texture's really, really good. Like I said, these are sides. I don't know what you would, you can have it for just a meal is what, what it says, but I can't imagine what side you would have with this. I don't know, I have no clue. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.